this weekend we have a combination of three different races. First of all, there's a 6, 12, 24 hour component. In that event, people are given uh, an amount of time and it's the number of laps they can do in that amount of time. Sunday morning we have the cross country comes in and it's the polar opposite of that. People are given a number of laps to do and it's how fast they can do them. And separate from those two, which happen on the same course, there's a downhill race, which is top to bottom in the vicinity of two minutes. The weather this weekend was just phenomenal. This is our 11th year that um, Pat's Peak and SNW Sports has put this on and there's never been a better weekend. It was just bright and sunny both days, uh, not a cloud in the sky. You know, it's just all about endurance when you come to the 6, 12 and 24 hour race. It's just a matter of how long you can do it for. The fastest rider this year, I believe, was in the 32 to 35 range. Um, it's 5.62 miles long. It's over roots, rocks, and I just can't even imagine being out there for 24 hours with mosquitoes and mud and sweat and all of the elements all night long where you're seeing the trail with one headlamp off of your helmet. The downhill, it's just speed, absolute speed. You, you just you, you set the bike in motion and you pedal and you hope you don't use the brakes from top to bottom. like to uh, have everybody check us out. Um, our goal is to have 500 riders, uh, participants throughout the, all the event. This year we came really close to that, but we were just a smidgen short. We got closer to 500 than we've ever been before, and uh, it would be great if we could hit that next year. That's what our hopes are. We would like for everybody to come here. If you haven't seen Pat's Peak in the summertime, looks a little different with no snow here. It looks more like a golf course. And when we're not having uh, four to six weddings a weekend, we pick a few of them for special events. You know, this is a great venue. There's great food, there's a pub, there's live music, there's camping, there's all kinds of fun things to do over the course of the weekend. So come next year and, and help us get to that 500 mark.